Hello and welcome to Crypto Market News coverage of Money 2020 in Singapore. I'm your host, Decentro, and I'm here with Alex Kong, the CEO of TNG. Thanks for being on the show, Alex. Thank you very much. Are you enjoying Singapore? Very much, and uh, love it. Yeah, what an it's awesome place. It's very vibrant and um, uh, very fintech friendly. Very peaceful as well. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So TNG really stands out at Money 2020. It caught my eye. That's why I'm here. Can you give a brief overview of what TNG is doing? Well, TNG stands for the next generation. We provide the next generation of financial inclusions or financial services and focusing it for the 1.2 billion unbanked populations here in Asia. In fact, they are close to 50% of the world's population. More than 2 billion people do not have a bank account or underbank. So we wanted to value add to them and bring them out of poverty by providing the financial platform and financial education. That's a very noble cause. Uh, it's an untapped market. It's a huge blue ocean. And when I look around, there are so many fintech companies. They are trying to improve the existing financial solutions or financial platform to the well bank individuals. So to provide something which is already good and offer them something better, um, the, the value proposition is not strong enough. But when we look and focus on the unbanked, and, and there is no switching cost. So um, I believe the future is focused on the unbanked. Cool. What I really like about TNG's mission is that it's it's humanitarian in a sense, but it's still it's a business. You guys have a business model, uh, and obviously you're uh, doing very well with that. Uh, yes, we like I said because there's no switching cost. It's so difficult to convince people who are already have a bank account to switch to our platform. While dealing with the unbanked, there is no switching cost or any concern. Right. And uh, we create tremendous value to them. And that's what we enjoy to do. Although the transaction value may, may not be high, uh, it's a high volume, high frequency, low margin business. But we get tremendous satisfaction out of it. Um, we, when we look around, a lot of the big organization, organizations, they're trying to suck the last drop of blood out from the poorest of the poor. And we decided to change that. That's awesome. I like that a lot. So speaking of the unbanked, uh, there's two billion of them that you want to help out. Uh, one of the problems I see is that many of these people do not have an internet connection, nor do they have a mobile device. So do you have any plans to help with that problem? Well, we, we have a two-prong approach. We started on the sending country because when you we, when you have no money, you are poor. Yeah. You can't afford to buy a smartphone. So how do you receive money? You depends. You receive money from your overseas, um, your family members who work in overseas to send the money home. In our instance, uh, such as in Hong Kong, there are close to four hundred thousand domestic helpers, um, and every month they're sending billions of dollars from Hong Kong to Philippines, Hong Kong to India, Hong Kong to Indonesia, uh, and the ben the beneficiary, the family members do not have a smartphone. Right. So how can we allow the, the beneficiaries to receive money? It's actually very simple. The one who earn money in overseas, they have a smartphone. They can afford to buy a smartphone. Mm -hmm. And uh, they deposit money into our TNG wallet. One click, they can send the money through SMS to the beneficiaries. They, when they receive the SMS, there's a payout code. And they can present the payout code at the post office, at the convenience shops, a money changer, and even bank counter to withdraw cash instantly. And, and is this system already in place? It's already in place. It's, um, we generated close to 100,000 transactions um, using this method to withdraw cash on a daily basis. Wow, I could tell you guys are ahead of the game, but I had no idea it sometimes, was to that extent. Sometimes it's not about high tech. Uh, yeah. it, it, you got to have a hybrid. Um, if you look at Myanmar today, three years ago, the smartphone penetration was less than 10%. And fast forward, in three years' time, the smartphone penetration is exceeded 70%. Mm -hmm. So even for those people who don't have a smartphone today, it will, they, they're going to have a smartphone few few months down the road. It's getting cheaper and cheaper. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, it, I see you guys are part of the global uh, 
is it the e-wallet alliance? Yes, we formed this uh, global e-wallet alliance. It's another very noble cause. So, we, so you're not just part of the group, you formed the group. We founded the group. Okay, right. And uh, it's very interesting because if you look at uh, how the financial world behaves today, if you have a money sitting in your bank account and this money cannot transfer to another bank account around the world, mm -hmm. this bank is useless to you. Useless, yes. Right? And this is exactly what is happening today. There are so many e-wallet operators from around the world and their money can only transfer among the e-wallet user and they cannot transfer to another e-wallet operators mm -hmm. in different parts of the world or even in the same country. It's simply not interoperable. And therefore, we formed this global e-wallet alliance to make the, e the money to roam globally. The right. e-wallet to roam globally. Not only um, can use it in Hong Kong, they can use it in Indonesia, India, Thailand, Philippines, so on and so forth. So make it interoperable. And at the same time, we take this one step further. Instead of just global e-wallet alliance to make the e-wallet roam globally, we have this financial inclusion and financial uh, social inclusive platform. Right. social inclusions mm -hmm. to make uh, we call this we, we don't have a name for it yet because it's something so new we just unveil it in this uh, money 2020 event so we have an SDK which we offer to our e-wallet partners once they're embedded we make the money instant messaging and a P2P call interoperable so we don't stop there just by making the money moving from one wallet to another wallet yeah. cross e-wallet we also offer them the IM infrastructure, instant messaging and P2P call. So oh, we upgrade their product offering and they become part of the bigger, uh, bigger cost. I think this would be classified now as a super app. Am I correct? I wouldn't call super app, it's super infrastructure. We want to share our um, big investment in this infrastructure to any e-wallet partners who come to join this alliance so that in United, we win, and yeah. we can do bigger and better things uh, to our society. That's what we believe in. Uh, just quickly, the technology of the e-wallet system, is it blockchain-based? Uh, yes, okay. um, not all are blockchain-based, but when it comes to transactions and when when it comes to tokenization, yeah. uh, when we move money from one e-wallet to another e-wallet, uh, we are using currently, we are adopting a, a blockchain um, a currency called uh, Talent. Talent, Talent coin. coin. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So to facilitate, we feel that every day there's so much money moving around, around the world. And when I want to send money from Singapore to, let's say, um, Thailand, mm -hmm. they got nothing to do with US. So why are we using US dollars? And when we buy, convert one currency to US and US back to the local currency, it's there's an exchange cost. Yeah, it's and someone in New York sitting in the office to pr waiting for them to press the button and they will ask you a source of fund and all kinds of questions. We feel this has been going on for the last 80 years, 50, 80 years. Mm -hmm. And we question that, why are we doing so? And it's time to, to make a change. We don't want to, we want to make the global money transfer frictionless at the speed of thought. And we don't want to incur additional unnecessary um, uh, money transfer costs, such as the Forex, buying and selling US dollars into different currencies. Nice. And, um, and just make it frictionless. Uh, it seems like it's another brick out of the wall of the US dollar hegemony. Uh, I think that we want to cut down the dependency. We cannot remove it entirely, yep. but at least it helps um, making it more frictionless and lower cost. Uh, I noticed the e-wallet uh, global alliance is mostly centered around Asia. Is there a plan to expand to the EU and the Americas? Certainly. We have booked our um, venue. Um, we will be exhibiting in uh, Amsterdam in June, in Mon Money 2020. And also in October, another Money 2020 in Las Vegas. So I'll be seeing you guys there. Last year in October, just in remittance alone, TNG, had 800 million Hong Kong dollar turnover in October. Uh, it looks like TNG has capital available to really tackle almost any problem that comes your way. Uh, so speaking of problems, what sort of obstacles do you see coming up in the next year and how do you plan on tackling those? Uh, we, we see a lot of problems in the current financial system. Uh, not to say problems, but more challenges because we 
we make sure when while we are doing or offering a frictionless global money transfer, at the same time we have to be very mindful to meet the full compliance of, of the regulators, different regulators in different countries. Because we want to meet the compliance such as the anti-money laundering, counter-terrorist financing, uh, real-time transaction monitoring and risk management system. So we invested in the past past years, we invested big amount of money to constantly upgrade our, and improve our risk management. And a state-of-the-art risk management, we want to do it better than the incumbents. Okay. Yeah? While moving, moving money at the speed of thoughts, we want to make it really safe for the society and for the country as well. Okay, okay, so, so uh, regulatory compliance is a huge issue this It's year. Uh, full so compliance and uh, it's always a challenge. Uh -huh. And uh, we want to make the, um, uh, we work closely with various regulators in different countries to make them understand how safe is our infrastructure. And we always say you are as strong as your weakest link. Yep. And you, if you depend on the technology that is 50 years old or 80 years old, um, it is not efficient anymore. And mm -hmm. the weakest link is actually people, human intervention. <laughs> it usually is. Yeah? We are the biggest risk. The human if we can take need. away the human factor, Everything is automated and there's a trace and a lock with the blockchain tracking and so on. It's actually much, much safer today. Okay, okay so, so just, just, just to be clear, clear as, as far as regulatory, regulatory compliance goes, goes, you are actually ahead of what's required? In, in, in a lot, lot of cases? cases? Most certainly. Already. Already. Okay. Because and a lot of companies here are uh, sort, sort of stating what they're, they're going to do to be compliant. Source searching. <laughs> They're still doing a lot of soul searching, <laughs> but we already executed on the ground and expand globally. And we are here to offer our technology, our know-how, our platform to any interested e-wallet operators around the world. That's, That's incredible. incredible. So, so just, just to, to finish, finish off, off um, Venezuela is in economic chaos. chaos. The, the people there are, from what I see, suffering. Uh, how do you think TNG can possibly help uh, countries, countries and the citizens, citizens of those countries, countries when their economy implodes? Um, this is a big question and also sensitive questions. It's, it's probably a separate, separate interview, interview, but give it a go. go. Oh, well. <laughs> um, I, I look at when, when Venezuela, in country like Venezuela, got into that situation, um, there's a breakdown of trust of the local okay. currency. No, nobody wants to hold on to the local currency and trade with local currency. And with TNG, with the Global E-Wallet Alliance, we make the money, can one click transfer from one place to another place. Securely, we trust. And it can be in different forms. It can be in US dollars, it can be Hong Kong dollars or Singapore dollars, and even it can be in blockchain in various cryptocurrency to facilitate the trade and to give options and choice to the local people to depend on the currency they can really trust. Uh, right now, uh, situation in Venezuela is not about, I think the biggest risk right now, the challenge they face is the trust. There's a breakdown of the trust of the local currency, which is out of control at this moment. Okay, okay I, I can, can really detect that, that because, because you, you can, can go to the root of the problem and just throw the word out trust as being the root of the problem. Uh, I personally see this as a reason why you guys are succeeding the way you are. Um, we are in the business of trust. So the infrastructure got to be secure. Um, the, the risk management and the AML control got to be prudent. And we are handling people's money. Therefore, a lot of young startup, a lot of fintech company, they don't have that kind of mindset. They, they just feel like, okay, I want to improve the current situations. And they have very little knowledge of our background experience about financial world and how, how to deal with the regulators. What are the real concern is? Where are the real problem? What problem are we solving today? And what value are we creating to our users? So once they understand this, then it, they will be in a better position and, uh, to, to deploy or come up with a, a, a stronger solutions. And we wanted to accelerate in TNG is we want to be open and share our experience and knowledge uh, to try to accelerate the change, accelerate the growth of this industry, this globalization. All right, well, well thank, thank you very much for uh, being, being on the show. show. It's, it's been, been a pleasure, pleasure and, and I wish, wish you the best, best of luck to help out the unbanked 20 billion. Thank you. Great. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and follow Decentro on Steemit and Twitter.